Busy day. Busy? I, the fire in the beach of last night has given me work enough. A dozen poor prisoners. Richard Colfax, Sir Martin Byfeet, Colonel Fairfax, Warren the preacher poet, and half a score others, all packed into one small cell, not six feet square. Poor Colonel Fairfax, Poor gentleman. who is to die today, is to be removed to number 14 in the cold harbor, that he may have his last hour alone with his confessor. And I shall see to that. He'll die bravely. I fought with him. Save me life. I bid ye anon. He's the bravest, the handsomest, and the best young gentleman in England. He twice saved my father's life. And it's a cruel thing, a wicked thing, and a barbarous thing that such a gallant hero should lose his head, for it's the handsomest head in England. For dealings with the devil? Aye, if all were beheaded who dealt with him, there'd be busy doings on Tower Green. <laughs> you know very well that Colonel Fairfax is a student of alchemy, nothing more and nothing less. But this wicked tower, like a cruel giant in a fairy tale, must be fed with blood. And that blood must be the best and bravest in England, or it's not good enough for the old Blandermore. Silence, you silly girl! You know not what you say. I was born in the old keep, and I've grown gray in it. And, please God, I shall die and be buried in it. And there's not a stone in its walls that is not as dear to me as my right hand. <laughs> Let's go. 